Hi, I'm Rob Porsky, game designer in T Human. With me is Dennis Dyack, the director of T Human, and Henry Sturchy, the director of design. I'm going to go through the bioengineer skill tree. A master of cybernetics as well as mundane combat, the bioengineer repairs damage sustained on the battlefield, increasing health bonuses of himself and his allies. So one of the really unique things uh, about T Human with the bioengineer is he's got to be a very self-sufficient character, but he also has to be a very strong supportive character as well. And you can see the three distinct paths that are available to you in the skill tree actually highlight and accent that very well. At the top of the skill tree, you'll see here is a group node that's shared for the whole group, and this increases your health regeneration over time. So it's kind of like a, a hot in uh, an MMO game where it'll actually just keep on bringing it up. The more points you invest into it, the faster and the more it'll regen. Uh, as you can see here, I can invest a couple points, open up some of the branches below that give me the possibilities of going down the different paths. So if you go down the left path, this is more of the core support path. Some of the things you can do down here is actually charm enemies to get them to turn against each other and fight for you. You can uh, deploy a mine that detonates an EMP radius that basically shuts the uh, enemy units down for a period of time. You will be able to do a, a quick and instant heal, so you'll be able to uh, more of a moderate heal value, but it instantly heals everyone that needs to be healed. And then at the bottom, you can increase the juggle height again to help support your group, build up some combo meters, serve some guys way up in the air for you. And, and the great thing, great thing about the bioengineer is two things. Um, the the first node automatically heals everyone in your party, so just by playing with them, you get a bonus. But the other thing is you don't get to use a lot of these powers until you actually kill enemies. So he's a very active healer, which is unlike any game we have seen so far. Usually healers sit in the background and wait for their mana to recharge. There's no mana in two humans, so you have to kill people to uh, actually you know use these powers. The middle path for the bioengineer is more of your conventional healer kind of cleric role. Uh, you can see here I can specialize in uh, increasing my two-handed weapon damage. I'll be able to deploy a shield with my spider that actually covers the group for you. And uh, that thing is just phenomenal. You can actually just drop that down and just tank a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, it's a lifesaver. The, the great thing about the shield too, and it's, it's you play it and you realize how powerful this is, it stops you from getting knocked down. And when the shield is up and your whole team has the shield and there's missiles coming in everywhere, the worst thing is getting knocked down and not being able to kill them. This just allows you to tank them through and just kill all the enemies really quickly. It's a great, great, one of the best skills in my opinion. The battle cry node in the middle path here is actually, uh, it's your large heal, but it's a bit delayed. So as you hit it, it'll take a couple seconds to, uh, to fully ramp up. So you've got to plan a little bit more for this, but your actual heal output is significantly greater than your other heals. And then uh, towards the bottom here, this will increase your group's maximum hit points. So again, this is kind of your pure cleric, uh, really strong healer role. Uh, down the right side uh, on the right branch uh, is actually your kind of combat medic. This is a really uh, interesting hybrid path. You can see here I can specialize as one hand, specialize in one-handed weapon damage. Uh, my healing is actually done through my spider. He'll deploy a mine, and when the enemy's detonated, I'll actually be able to heal my group there. So it's a it's a very unique and active way to heal through this path. Uh, the combat skill here, uh, you can see, is basically a buff, uh, a little bit more uh, like a paladin. You can uh, get your resistance buffed up uh, for your group. You can actually uh, get your damage and your defense is all increased by this duration buff. And then at the bottom, you can actually have a chance of adding lightning damage to your melee attacks.